The veteran entertainer Max Bygraves has died. He was 89. One of the last all-round variety of performers, his career spanned five decades after winning fame as a comedian and singer in the 1940s. He emigrated to Australia in 2005 and had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease. David Silito takes a look back at his life. I might be it's because I'm a Londoner. Warm, funny, reassuring. Those old-fashioned songs, the jokes and stories about days gone by made Max Bygraves a star. He's the greatest I've ever seen at getting an audience in the palm of his hand immediately he walked on. With a lot of performers, it takes you five minutes. Not with Max, he walked on and they loved him. And he was a terrific entertainer. He was born Walter Bygraves and grew up in poverty in London's Dockland, something he never forgot. We couldn't even afford cutlery. He used to eat with our fingers. Really? Mm. He used to take an hour and a half to finish a bowl of soup. <laughs> he became Max after perfecting his Max Miller impression. The radio show Educating Archie followed, then the London Palladium. He became a wealthy man. He was astute enough to buy the rights to the musical Oliver for £350. And in the 70s, those old tunes gave him 27 gold and platinum albums. The entertainer of a certain generation is gone, and he's one of the very last still around who is singing the songs of that era, performing as an all-round entertainer as he was. And uh, he was a very gifted, a very gifted person, a very gifted man. In Gilly, Gilly, On stage, the audience will be laughing one moment, shedding a tear the next. Max Bygraves, gentle, reassuring, and always ready with a song that everyone knew. You need hands. To hold someone you care for. You need hands. Max Bygraves, who's died aged 89.